Hi hello namaste this is Ramesh from Easy Classes in this video i'm going to show you how you can install wordpress on your local device yes guys we can easily install the wordpress on your laptop or desktop okay guys if you want to uh, develop a wordpress site and if you don't want to purchase hosting and domain in the initial stage you can choose a local development environment Yes guys we can install the wordpress on our laptop and we can work without internet and hosting so our laptop or desktop will work same like the hosting server okay guys without wasting time let's jump into the tutorial okay as a first step open any browser and do google search for local by flywheel as you can find local wp.com this is the site we want to visit so open that now we are on the local wp.com you can find download button here click on that it will ask you to choose your platform you can select mac version windows version linux version in my case i'm using windows version so i will hit on that if you are using mac you can download the mac version so let me download windows now because i'm using windows so provide your details here so once you provided your details you will get get it now button so click on that you can see guys the file size will be more than 400 mb so 458 mb right now so let me download it yes guys we have successfully downloaded the software let's open the download directory so i have downloaded into my desktop you can see here double click on the file and the installation program will start so let me install for a current user only next and say next you can change the destination folder here so if you want to change you can change by browsing in my case i will be okay with the default setting so install once i have installed so let me finish this so now i'm going to delete this files because i no longer needed it so let me delete it so now we have successfully installed the local by flywheel now the second step is to install wordpress so let me open the local file by double click or right click and select open yes so once you have launch so you will find the dashboard like this to create your wordpress site so you will find create a new site button here so click on that and provide the site name my site name is eager class now hit continue so you will find the php version you want to choose so in my case i will always go for prefer so if you want to custom the php version then you can go here and select the php version and server version and database version okay let me select the preferred option so once you select it say continue now you need to provide the wordpress admin privileges type the wordpress username so let me type a demo purpose so my username is admin and the password so now change the wordpress email to your email so once you're done click on add site guys it will take few seconds to set up the local wordpress on your device yes we have successfully installed the wordpress on our local system did you see how easy was that yes we can easily set up the wordpress on our local servers so now you will find two buttons here the one is admin and the one is site so let me open the site first you can see here the eager class dot local this is my url this is the local url so nobody can access it so only i can access it because we have installed the wordpress locally so this is our site so let me open the admin area so you can hit the admin button here or else so after the url type forward slash and type wp hyphen admin and press enter so this is the admin area we want to log in did you remember that we have given the username for the wordpress site and password so once you're done press login yes guys we are now in the wordpress dashboard now we can develop any wordpress site locally by using local by flywheel we have learned how to install local machine on our device also we have installed the wordpress site and is successfully up and running in this video i'm going to show you how you can install the wordpress with xamp yes guys this is the another alternative video for you to install the wordpress on your local device okay without wasting time let's install the xamp to install the xamp on your device open any browser and do google search for xamp download and press enter now you will find apachefriends.org so open that to download the xamp in the first result you can see here there are three versions available for windows linux and osx for mac and in my case 
I'm going to use the Windows version because I'm running with Windows 10. If you are running with Linux or Mac OS, then you can use these versions. So in my case, the Windows version I'm going to use. Okay, let me download the Windows version now. I'm going to install a latest version here. For that, I will go to 8.1.1, the PHP version. So let me download it. So you can download any versions. So if you prefer with 7.4 PHP version, you can go ahead with us. This is the most stable and 8.1.1. This is the latest version in 2021. That's why I'm going to use the latest version here. Let me download it. Okay, now we have downloaded the exam file. So let me install it. So double click on the downloaded file. Say next here. And you can select the preferred PHP and other packages here. So let me install with the all packages by default and say next. Okay, now the installation folder you have to select. By default, the exam will select exam folder under C drive. So I'm okay with that and let hit next. Now select the language which you prefer. So in my case, English only. There is only two options, Dutch and English. So let me select English and say next. And finally, next. It's now ready to install. Say next. Guys, it will take few seconds to install exam completely. Be patient. Yes, we have successfully installed the exam on our Windows device. In the final step, it will ask you to open the control panel when you finish it. So let me untick and finish. Now we have successfully installed the exam on your Windows device. But it's not showing any icon here, right? Don't worry, you can easily find it. Then go to the Windows search bar and type exam. You'll find the exam control panel. So open that. Here is the control panel. We can control the local server. Okay, now we have to start the local server, right? To start that, start Apache. And for database, start MySQL. Because without database, we cannot work, right? So that's why the server Apache and MySQL should be start. So now we have started our local server to confirm whether the server is running or not to check that open any browser and in the URL section type HTTP colon double slash then localhost and then press enter. Yes, you can see here our local server is run and working well. Now go to the exam folder and try to stop any service here. I have stopped the Apache server and if you come to the local host dashboard, refresh it. You can see here the server is down now because we have not started the local server yet. So always start the server and database. Yes, this is how the local server will work. If you start the local server with MySQL, you can install WordPress and run your local development platform. Okay, I have already started again and if you refresh it, it will again upon running. Okay, the next step, we have to install the WordPress, right? So now we have installed the hosting platform. So let me install the WordPress. To install the WordPress, we have to reach the root directory. To reach the file manager or root directory, you'll find explorer button here. So click on that. This is the exam folder. You will find the bunch of files here. Then find hdocs, double click on that. So this is the folder hdocs will contain the website files. So as you can see, here is the dashboard. And if you enter the local host, you will be end up with a dashboard, right? Because in the dashboard section, we have installed the HTML file. That's why it's showing the dashboard like this. So this is the file which is showing up here. So don't get confused. The all WordPress files are going to install in this hdocs folder. So now by default, it is installed with the exam files. Let me delete them all. Yes, if you run this one, so there is no files one, right? So let install the WordPress locally. To install WordPress, go to the Google search and type WordPress download. In the first result, you will find wordpress.org slash download so open that scroll down 
you will find the download wordpress button so this is the latest version 5.8.2 in my case download the latest version click on the button and save the file to your local directory as we have completed the download open the download directory okay here it is the file right click on that and select extract all and extract now okay the extraction is complete open the folder and you will find the wordpress folder open that and you will find the bunch of files including the wp admin wp content wp includes and other php files so let me select all files and say copy and you need to paste under xamp folder under hdocs which we previously uninstalled the default files right so in such case or open the xamp control panel and you will find explorer click on that okay now we are under the xamp folder you will find hdocs folder open that and here you need to copy the wordpress files so let me copy here by control plus v yes we have successfully copied the all files into the hdocs folder right so now let me open the browser and in the url section you need to type https or http colon forward slash double slash localhost and press enter Yes, guys. As you can see here, the installation window will open to install the WordPress on our local server. The first step, you have to select the language. So let me select the default language English. So in your case, you can select any language. So let me continue with the English, and it will ask you few requirements you have to provide in the future. That is the database name, the database username, the database password. and database host so this should be ready with you okay to get them open a new tab after the local host to put forward slash and type php my admin and press enter so then you will be end up with this php admin dashboard so here we are going to create databases you'll find databases section click on that here are the databases which is previously created by the software Now go to the user accounts. Here we need to create a new user account. To create that, hit on the add user account and provide the user name. So in my case, I will select as admin only and select local host as a host name. And in the password section, put the password. So this is the database password. And next, you have to select create database with the same name. and provide the global privileges by checking the all data structure and administration sections and finally you need to hit the go button so when you hit the go button a new database will create so that is the admin name and the username also as admin as you can see here next go to the wordpress installation directory and say let's go here you need to paste the database details the database name is admin and the username is also admin in my case and put the database password and in the database host it will be local host only and say submit so now run the installation and finally you need to provide the website title here just type any site name for that username as admin so you can change it to anything and password and finally put your admin email and if you want to discourage the search engines to crawl your website you can select this one and finally hit the install wordpress that's it we have successfully installed the wordpress to visit your website go to the local host and press enter so this is your new wordpress site to open the wordpress admin dashboard put wp hyphen admin after the local host by following the forward slash and press enter so provide the admin dashboard details here so not the database details the wordpress admin dashboard details which we finally used right so then login so this is our new dashboard which we created with the wordpress so we can customize our wordpress with this dashboard help and if you want to visit your new site you will find the my wordpress site the site name click on that 
so you will end up with the site home page this is the basic website which we created with the wordpress so we can customize it in any way so in the next video i'm going to show you how to customize this wordpress site by installing a new premium theme or else you can use free theme also but in this course i'm going to show you with the premium theme we can customize the wordpress entirely so that's it guys hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon and we will meet you in the next exciting video like this until then bye bye